Hi there, I am Professor Kanchan Dabre from Universal College of Engineering welcomes you all in learning fun with natural language processing part 3. Today we are going to see what are the ambiguities in natural language processing. What are the ambiguities? Ambiguities meaning inexactness. Word, phrase or sentence is ambiguous if it has more than one meaning associated with it. When a word has a exact one meaning associated with it, then that word is called as non-ambiguous word. But when a word has multiple meanings associated with it, then that word is called as ambiguous word. Similarly, a sentence or a phrase, when they have multiple meanings associated, they are called as ambiguous. Hence, they can create confusion. Hence, it is challenging in natural language processing to find out what is the exact meaning for a particular word and discard the rest all. So, let us see what are the ambiguities in natural language processing. We have seen the different levels in which natural language processing takes place. And in all these levels, there are different challenges, different confusions present. And let us see what are the challenges at every level. So, first ambiguity is called as morphological or lexical ambiguity. This is also called as word category disambiguity. This is a word level analysis. Here, a word can have more than one meaning or category. For example, a word book can come in the category noun when it is used in the context of textbook or a novel or that word book can come under category verb when used in the context of booking a ticket or a seat. So when this word comes which meaning is to be taken and which is to be discarded has to be decided and so resolving this disambiguity is called as lexical or morphological disambiguity. Let us take another example. A bank can come in the category noun when used in the context of financial institute. It can come under the category noun when used in the context of river bank. A bank word can come in the category of verb when used as a banking transaction. So understanding the category and understand finding out the exact meaning and resolving those is a lexical ambiguity. Let us see the next ambiguity that is semantic ambiguity. Syntactic ambiguity. Syntactic ambiguity is an ambiguity present in the sentence structure. Syntax meaning it specifies the possible arrangements of words in the sentence given. If there is a sentence and the words are not arranged in a proper order, then that sentence is not grammatically correct sentence. And here, if and how do we understand that sentence is grammatically wrong is by the grammar rules. If the grammar or the rules are itself ambiguous, then what happens? Then for a particular sentence, more than one parse tree are correct for a given sentence. Hence, there is an ambiguity in the sentence structure. A different structure leads to different interpretation. In general, for a given sentence, there should be always one exact parse tree. But here, there are two parse tree are possible. Two structures leading to two different interpretation. For example, list all flights on Tuesday. So, you list down all the flights on the day Tuesday. Or list all flights on Tuesday. Meaning, which listing down all flights which flies on Tuesday. So, since the grammar rules are ambiguous, there is the ambiguity in the sentence structure. So, handling this ambiguity and finding out what should be the correct grammar is a challenge at this level. Next ambiguity is semantic ambiguity. 
semantic ambiguity deals with the word sense disambiguity meaning each word in a sentence having more than one meaning then for example if a sentence has 10 words present in it and every word is having three meaning associated with it then what are the number of possible interpretations for that sentence so there can be 3 into 3 into 3 there can 59049 meaning associated for a particular word so let us take a simple example kanchan is in a terrible state so if you take a individual word every word has a exact one meaning but here this word state is having two meaning associated with it this state can be a mental state or a state can be a region or a maharashtra state gujarat state and so on so she is living in a state which is a terrible that can be one interpretation or she is in a mentally terrible state can be a other interpretation so one word is having two meanings two senses so there are two senses possible if there would have been so many meaning for each word then there would have been so many interpretations for that particular sentence so semantic ambiguity deals with the word sense disambiguity so resolving those senses and finding out the context which context to be taken for every word is or is a challenge at this place next level is ambiguity is discourse ambiguity it is also called as anaphoric ambiguity for example in a sentence monkeys eat banana when they wake up so who is they here it is a monkey monkeys eat banana when they are ripe who is a they here it is a banana so here in this sentence if you see it has two parts first part is a complete monkeys eat banana and the second part is having a pronoun when they wake up so pronoun is actually replacing the noun present in the previous sentence so how many nouns are present in the previous sentence monkeys and banana so which noun is to be replaced is a confusion so resolving this this ambiguity is called as discourse ambiguity so here we try to identify when is that event happened where or by whom the occurrence was said so resolving all this comes in this stage pragmatic ambiguity is dealing with the understanding the speaker's intention for example here the sentence given is you are late is it what is the hidden information or intention behind is it a informative sentence or is it a criticizing sentence so in the pragmatic ambiguity we try to find out the hidden intention of a speakers like is it is he giving promise or is he criticizing is he ordering requesting or it has appreciated you so understanding that it's very important and that is a pragmatic ambiguity other than this there are so many other challenges in natural language processing and what are those challenges is nowadays when you write on whatsapp or twitter we use elongated words so for example i write i'm so sorry the word is elongated it was too yummy it was very awesome so i want to emphasize my sentiment so when you do sentiment analysis these words are very important to us so understanding those words everyone's style of elongating word is different so understanding that elongated word is a challenge next is a sh understanding shortcuts so when you type we write lot of shortcuts like please we write pls like this by the way we express in this way so 
in natural language processing we cannot uh, just ignore the sentences saying these are not belonging to the dictionary but you need to process them as they are very important to us so this handling the shortcuts are challenges next challenge in natural language processing is handling emojis so whenever you are sad about any product you didn't like you don't type so much but you just type one emoji and you send it and that shows your intention sentiment about that product it was yummy or so on so handling emojis is a challenge one of the biggest challenge in natural language processing is the mixed usage of language for example i have seen a movie and i have written a comment i like that movie salman khan ka acting was lajawab too good jabardast so here what i have done used english word i have used hindi language i have used english and hindi written in english i have combined these two languages and we do it with multiple languages we type one language in other and so on so handling this is also a challenge in natural language another challenge in natural language processing is ellipses ellipses meaning incomplete sentence for example people peter worked hard and passed exam kevin too so what should be the interpretation of this sentence kevin has also worked hard or kevin has passed the exam or kevin has also worked and then passed exam so what should be the meaning taken from the incomplete sentence is also a challenge in natural language. another important challenge in natural language processing is punctuational ambiguity for example a sentence here you look at the punctuations woman without her man is in is nothing meaning a woman cannot do anything alone but if i use a different punctuation different place woman without her man is nothing meaning man cannot do anything without the support of a woman so the meaning of a sentence is completely changed this is called as punctuational ambiguity so these are different challenges in natural language processing and hence to solve the challenges there is a lot of scope in research in natural language processing now we'll see the different projects our students have done so this is one project our students have done a car rating sentiment analysis this project finds out the sentiment of a people based on their reviews written and it finds out it rates that car based on the how many positive sentiments how many weakly positive strongly positive negative or neutral comments that car has been uh, has been received and based on this sentiment people it help it will help people to understand the uh, to purchase the car so here you have multiple tweets people have written positive tweets negative tweets opinion tweets factual tweets and you can see these tweets of the people see they are very complicated they are not easy to handle so this software of our students is been taken by one automobile company and it is very soon it is going to go live so next project of our students is online paper assessment here uh, you must have given online exams what do you do a teacher gives mcq test and then student appear for it so here a uh, teacher can give the question and then the answer sample answer and submit okay and when students appear for the exam when students appear for the exam they can write their own answer in their own words and they will be they will get compared with the sample answers stored given by the teacher and then accordingly they will be rated if they are given 100% matching answer they'll get 100 marks if it is not if it is matching 70% 80% likewise the marks will be given to the student 
for a particular question and the answer sheet will be automatically generated. But this is how the plagiarism also takes place.